guys, Shane here with DroidMonorX.com. This is the Asus Transformer Prime. I know I haven't done a ton of videos for this in the past, uh, but this is one video that I felt was very important. As you guys may know, the Jelly Bean over the air update has been released for the Asus Transformer Prime. Now, if you're running a custom ROM, it may be difficult for you to get the over the air update. Of course, you would have to flash back to stock. Um, and you'd have to wipe all your data and whatnot. Of course, you'll have to do that this way too, but there has been a developer that has released a fully rooted Deodex ROM of the new over-the-air update. Uh, it is completely stock. It actually will replace your uh, custom recovery with a stock recovery, and it has all the new uh, bootloaders and everything. Everything is 100% stock jelly bean, uh, so this will give you a fresh start. Of course, you can easily flash a new... Uh, you can easily flash a new custom recovery once this has all been installed. Uh, but what you want to do is head to the link in the description, grab the ROM and also the super user uh, APK flash file, and we'll flash those all at the same time. First, you want to uh, boot into recovery. Uh, so we'll go ahead and boot into recovery now. So just reboot recovery. Most ROMs uh, that you would be running on this device will have that option. If not, the way that you'll do that is to power down and to hold the volume down button along with the power button until you see some text up here in the corner and then you'll click the volume up. So I'm doing this from the twerp recovery. But you can use clockwork mod recovery as well. So this would be an easy, easy install. First thing you want to do is go to wipe factory reset swipe to wipe and we're just gonna run through the entire process and I'll show you guys the end product so like I said this is just the easiest way to get to the over-the-air update go to cache swipe to wipe and this will be flashable from any ROM any firmware version um, you can flash this from anything we're gonna go to install and it should be in our download folder. It's going to download. Okay, we're looking for the USTF 201 JR 03C 104215 stock DODX zip. We'll flash that first. As soon as that finishes flashing, while we're in the same uh, while we're in the same process before rebooting the device, we're going to go ahead and flash that super user file. That will ensure that we are rooted on this device. Uh, so that we don't lose root. Now this may take a few minutes, so here I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And as soon as it finishes installing, I'll come back to it. Okay, so once that's finished, it did take uh, about three minutes, I would say. Uh, we do not want to reboot yet. We want to go back. And then we want to find the super user 3.2 arm signed dot zip. And we're going to flash that. That will ensure that we are rooted. That was quick. Now we can just reboot the system. It's going to do its updating, so it has to update every time you flash to a new firmware. Of course, it has to update Google. Looks like we get the same old Asus boot animation, which is cool. Okay, so it did take quite a while to boot up, so don't panic or think that you're in a boot loop because you're not. It's just taking forever to boot up. Uh, but once it's all booted up, we are presented with the welcome screen. And I'm just going to kind of run through this. I'm not going to sign in or anything. Let's see. And I'm not going to sign into Google now. But you can see this is all different from Ice Cream Sandwich. And of course, setup is complete. Now what I've noticed from some early reviews from other guys like uh, Marcus, Marquez Brown Lee is that this is pretty much a stock experience here. Now you do have some of the Asus widgets like you can see right off the bat, but those are easily removable. You can actually remove those pretty easy. Um, you do have these toggles here, and you have IPS mode, which takes up a little extra space. You can remove those too. So from the lock screen, you will notice that not only do we have the camera option and the unlock option, but now we also have a Google Now option. Uh, this is the tablet version of Google Now. It just gives us a couple rows of cards, which is really awesome. Uh, if we do go back home into the app drawer, you can see uh, just how fast... This is uh, Project Butter, and that is the increase in speed that you see with Jelly Bean, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you do see that this is mostly a stock experience here. 
Uh, you can remove these from the system tray. Um, but other than that, guys, this is Jelly Bean for the Asus Transformer Prime. It is very much worth the update. You will notice a an enhancement in your performance and stability and also in your battery life in the Asus Transformer Prime. So I definitely suggest flashing this uh, rooted DODX ROM to your device. Guys, you can find more of me at DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. And give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.